हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज नंदनी हिरानी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज टाइफोन कमूरी किल्स मोर देन अ डजन एज इट एग्जिस्ट फिलीपींस द डेथ टोल फ्रॉम टाइफोन कमूरी दैट हिट प्रोविंस साउथ ऑफ द फिलीपीन कैपिटल रोज टू थर्टीन गवर्नमेंट अथॉरिटी सेड ऑन वेंसडे एज द स्टॉम लेफ्ट द कंट्री कमूरी द ट्वेंटी टू हिट द कंट्री दिस ईयर क्रॉस द कॉस्ट इन मंडे नाइट फोर्सिंग हंड्रेड्स ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ रेसिडेंट्स टू वैक्यूएट एंड द कैंसलेशन ऑफ हंड्रेड्स ऑफ फ्लाइट्स It also disrupted some events in the Southeast Asian Games which the Philippines is hosting under December 11. Five people died in Central Bicol region including three who drowned a local disaster agency said. One of the five victims was reportedly electrocuted. People were killed in two provinces in the North and Central Philippines according to local news reporters. About 3 lakh 45000 people are still in evacuation centers awaiting authorities clearance for them to return home disaster agency spokesperson said. The storm left the usual damage of major storms such as fallen trees, ruined roofs of houses and some government facilities. Officials said forced evacuations and preparations prevented greater loss of life. Sustained winds of Kamuri weakened to 100 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 125 km per hour as it headed towards the South China Sea. The storm was said to leave the Philippines on Wednesday night, the state weather bureau said. An average of 20 typhoons annually hit the Philippines and archipelago of more than 7000 islands. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news Nandini Hirani. For more news updates like these, please subscribe our channel.